Hmm. See, like, you ever hear the phrase, those who don't learn from history are doomed to repeat it? Like, Uncle Willie uh, got some info for us. Thank you, Phil. Oh, it's quiet. We got a health alert out here. There we go. We got this thing called white lung disease. We have a what is also called a epidemic. There's over a hundred, and I think kids, a hundred kids, who have came down with white lung disease in Ohio. Kind of like pneumonia. But here we go. Ohio, we are now well beyond reporting our first cases oh. of white lung syndrome. Symptoms include fever, headache, and a cough that progressively gets worse. This is actually a strain of pneumonia. There have been a 145 cases in Ohio so far. And in this 19 health alert, Stephen Hernandez walking us through what it is and more importantly, how to keep the healing safe. 145 cases. 145 cases. We know. Isn't that crazy? That many kids are developing something like that? that? Doesn't that make anyone wonder what the fuck? You know, what the fuck are vaccines for? Or is this potentially a result of what happened when all the parents are being like, I'm not vaccinating my kids, this is my break. This could be something like it too. Which was very interesting to me, quite honestly, when all that shit was coming out, because it was like a... Um, it was ironic how there were so many people protesting going against vaccinating their children right before the plague came out. Don't you think that that was weird? I thought it was weird. You don't have to listen to me because I'm a weird bitch, right? But at least I'm not a weirdo, so there's a death rat. That the CDC um, is working with the Ohio Department of Health down in Warren County. It's an illness that has the states and the CDC's attention. 145 children sickened with white lung syndrome, a strain of pneumonia, just north of Cincinnati and Warren County, all since August. Those mm -hmm. numbers were also oh, thank you. The Look at him. Of health's definition of an outbreak. Dr. Claudia Hoyen with University Hospitals tells me the bulk of the research is still ongoing. Many hospitals around the country are starting to try and collect uh, data on some of these infections. Um, so that we can get a sense of, of what's going on. As doctors work to gather information on the strain, parents are worried as countries like China face similar surges themselves. Mm. It's kind of what we... Didn't this happen before? I feel like we just did this. Didn't we just do this where, like, something happened in a whole other country? Surprisingly, China. And all of a sudden we were seeing the reverb of that coming over here. Um, particularly around December, January. Like, around the time when, like, Kobe passed away in that plane. Do you remember that? I remember that. I thought it was absolutely weird. But I can't figure out what it... I, 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 I for the life of me, can't remember what it is I'm thinking. I can't remember, for the life of me, what it is I'm actually trying... Like, I know we just did this before. I know we just did this before. I know we just did this before. Uh, last year, uh, here in the United States, where, um, you know, because the Chinese took their masks off later than us, they are now seeing an increase in viral infections in children. A lot what? of people didn't, didn't even know that China had been seeing in increases in children. They took their masks off late, later than us, but now it's viral infections and shit going on. Have you heard anything about it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what can we do to stay safe? Well, no, China has been suppressing that information for the last, like, three months, if you've been paying attention. Um, thank you, Fab. Uh, it's been, it, it, this has been going on for the, uh, a, a few months now, but, you know, everyone's worried about other things while ignoring the fact that the, there might be a problem somewhere. There, there might be a leak somewhere there might there might, something's leaking and it's not the, like a drip kind of leak it's like something's leaking in not out you know i breathe in and can't breathe out can't breathe or department of health is advising us to stay up to date with our vaccines and to follow the steps we usually do why is it so quiet 
We all know if you're oh, like, that poor kid. Home, if you're recovering He's just like, oh my from God, something it and, and you're okay to be out, you know, it's it's probably a good idea to wear a mask uh, for a little while after you're sick. But most of the always the mask. Put the mask back on. Um, say the cigarette smokers. Don't get it's like this. Say the mucus in our lungs. Don't play with stuff like that. That's what's up. For now is to stay calm and to be on the lookout for what medical experts have to say in the future. Stay I mean, calm. I don't, I don't think stay calm. Wait for the medical experts. Got it. Mm -hmm. That works so well. <laughs> um, there wasn't anything reported yet from Warren, Ohio that... Um, you know, that, that... I'm sorry, but there is... Like, where is this woman? Because that doesn't look real. And she's throwing me off a little bit. I don't know. It, there's just something about her. And that neck she got. I don't know what it... Yeah, I, like, that's what I'm paying attention to more than anything. It's her neck. I don't know what it is about her neck. But there's something about her neck that's bothering me. I don't know why I'm saying neck like that, though. But there's something wrong in this. She looked tired. She looked like she ain't, like, it been doing well. The color she, she's wearing that particular red. I don't know how I feel about that red. There's a whole rainbow there, but her head is covering the green, which would make me feel a little bit more comfortable, because at least that's a complimentary color, but I can't fucking see it. I can see it over here with this tree over yonder, right? But, uh. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Lots of red. Lots of different red, but none of it's the right red. Has me overly concerned, but like I said, we're going to know more in the next few days. In Cleveland, Stephen Hernandez, 19 News. You say, funny you say that. That's because. That was said for C-19, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. that's what it was. Uh, that, that's what it was. That's what it was. That's what, we, that's what was fucking me up. That's it. We did this shit before with the plague. Totally forgot. Wow, thank you. I totally forgot what it was I was trying to say. Thank you, Uncle Willie. Don't worry. Don't. Damn it. Don't you panic out here in these streets. Keep on spending your money. Mm -hmm. But, damn it, if you're sick. Go home. Don't come out here with the rest of us. Don't do not do that right there. Just do not panic. Please, please, please. Yeah, 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 yeah. Watch this. Hold on, hold on. Got another. Now the growing concern over pneumonia and children. One state seeing a spike in cases. Trevor All is here now with a reality check for us all. Good morning, Trevor. Good morning. <laughs> what is a reality <laughs> check? One Ohio County had Fuck. so many kids out sick with pneumonia that local health officials took note. Now, experts do stress this doesn't have anything to do with any outbreaks of illnesses in China or in Denmark, but they are certainly keeping a close eye on it here. It has nothing to do with China. It has nothing to do with at it. At all. Nothing. It's y'all telling nothing. But why would you Remember do this? day, y'all, they say it had nothing to do with China. I'm just saying. Why would you need to tell us that if that isn't the case? I promise you, baby, I don't have any other women's n numbers in my phone. I didn't ask that. Well, I'm letting you know. Like, why would you need to tell me that if that's not the case? If you're a nice person, you don't need to tell me you're a nice person. You you would demonstrate that with your actions, so... It's orange. It's not entirely a red flag, but it's definitely... Uh, uh, it's yellowish-orange, and it, it's, it's starting to get a little bit, like, more... Uh, more... Um, magenta in the hue. For anybody outside of that great state that they're in right now. Go ahead. This morning, health officials in one Ohio county monitoring a rise of pneumonia in children, reporting an extremely high number of pediatric pneumonia cases in Warren County, just outside Cincinnati. It was a nightmare, honestly. Uh, I called my sister crying my eyes out. Uh, That's a clue. Fearing the worst. Molly Campbell says her 14-year-old son, William, had to be hospitalized. Mm. He had come home from school. Um, grabbing his chest and um he just he came in gasping said he couldn't breathe um so nigga I took it. strangely enough i was in the hospital when i was a kid for shit like that i actually had a um, i i had a they called it a virus 
My parents switched between, like, asthma and, um, anemia or some shit like that. I don't know, but there was some respiratory shit that was fucking me up as a kid. And they left me slightly anemic. And I was in the hospital for, like, I think two weeks. Maybe it was a week, but I'm pretty sure it was two weeks. Like, they put IVs in me and all sorts of shit. They had to, like, keep oxygen on me. I was, there was something up with me. No one knew what the fuck it was. But I was, like, laid up in bed and shit. I was trying to eat and could not breathe. Which, you know, you wouldn't think much about it. Because even when you swallow, you really don't breathe when you swallow. And some of y'all are going to be paying attention to that. Now that I said that, you're going to try it. You're going to try to breathe and swallow at the same time. And don't do that. Because when you're swallowing, it cuts off your uh, esophagus for your breathing. So that way it doesn't go down the wrong chute. So please don't do that. You're going to confuse yourself and you might choke to death on... Uh, well, you might actually drown on some, like, banana pudding. So don't do that. Don't do that. But, um, it was terrible. And my father, the, the, the fucking Appalachian magician he is, he was just feeding me all sorts of shit out the goddamn medicine cabinet. Like, like down to some, like, uh, fucking my doll and shit. Like, and, and nothing was working. He made me, like, a, a, a drink a whole pint of fucking mouthwash to get the menthol in it. Would, it would save me. No. But my, but my, but my piss was great. I made that up. But he didn't do that. But it was, like, some intense shit. So it's just, like, I feel for these kids because it's, like, look at, like, I feel, like, I was that kid right there. That's how I was literally laid up. And it's just like, God damn, dude, I'm so sorry for you. Like, that that feeling, it, it sucks when it's like your body is reacting to something that's causing you not to be able to breathe. I thought I was allergic to cinnamon. It's funny. Clay, damn it. Thank you. For the emergency room. You say, you say, Willie said they're only experts because they read books. That's it. That's it. You was only smart. You was only as smart as what you can contain, remember, recite. You know stuff like that. True. That's it. Officials say they've seen 145 children infected since August. They oh lord. The most common symptoms include cough, mm -hmm. fever, and fatigue. They mm -hmm. stress that while cases are up, there has not been enough to get hospitalizations or deaths. This is a very typical time of the year for the. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And as long as people is not dying, it's not in the emergency, right? Those cases mm -hmm. to be on the rise. It hasn't been seen in other parts of the state of Ohio, and we haven't seen that in any other parts of the country yet. So, something to be mindful of. So that means that this what? could be passed around if 145 just just in that area have gotten it. It could be the water. Oh, it could be C mm -hmm. 19. It could be the jab doll in that area. They gave them like a bad batch or something. That's that's what it could be. Like, do you understand the implications? It's not just like something where like people are just, like feeling this shit out. Like, you know, the majority of my phone, we did not get this shit. We remember what happened last time. Uh, we trusted shit like this. I like when I was a kid, right? Like, I had this. No, it was my right hand. My right hand, my, I accidentally fell on some glass and, like, I, I partially cut my pinky off. The only reason I still, the pinky was still attached and we were able to find it was because it was attached by his skin. And it was just squirting out blood and everything. I was just looking at it like, oh. I'm going to go show my mom because I could hear my mom downstairs. So I ran up to my mom and the chick who was the babysitter was her friend. And I was like, mom, look at this. And my mom screamed in horror and she's a Virgo so you could only imagine the madness that went on in her head at that time and like we were driving down the road and she had to stop herself from like crying and shit because I was crying because I didn't understand like I'm literally showing off my finger like it's the coolest thing ever because I didn't know it could do that and she's freaking out cause, thank you for and she's freaking out because she's just like my baby's injured and but like, she had to stop crying because I was doing what she was doing like I was watching her so she was I, I had to control myself for a time like my mom at least had that mentality to like think that way because um, I don't think she realized I was gonna like pay attention to her and do what she's doing because I hadn't cried at that point until I saw her cry and then she had to stop because she realized it and 
and the doctors that took my hand, they sewed my finger up, and, I, and my mom and my, and my dad showed up a little bit later on to like watch too. And they, we were all together, and I was just sitting there watching them sew my finger together, no problem. But then I needed a shot, and they brought out a needle, and I saw them hold it just like this, and I watched them, and I was immediately like, "What is that?" Like, I, I, I like the needle did not. I don't know why it was them sewing it up with a needle wasn't an issue, but it was like it's like a sewing needle or a stitching needle. But as soon as I saw the the jab jab needle, I like I I, I sat all the way the fuck up and I looked at that, and they were like, "Oh, okay, come here." And immediately I flipped out. I was like, "No, get away from me!" Like my <laughs> my dad was like yelling at me to stop, and normally I would be like. Oh, he's yelling. But at that, but no, it was a whole fear. It was a whole, I don't want that in me. And I was fighting my, I was literally fighting my dad. My dad almost was not able to um, control me. It, it took him and my mom and a whole other doctor to pin my little four-year-old ass down in order to get this needle. And I was screaming, no, no, get away from me. Ah, and ever since then, I don't know what it was, but it's just, uh, that struck me considering what's happening today you know what i mean i've that, that memory has always been in the back of my mind about how i first reacted when i actually first saw a needle and it fucked me up and it freaked me out and i was fighting for life and now like like 33 years later all, all of this shit is happening and it's just like huh But if I was a kid this time, they would have made me take that shot. And I would have actually had a reason to be freaking out. Holy shit. It, it, like, I don't know. It's just the little things in my life where I'm just sitting here like, man... But that was just the story. It's one of those things where it's just like... I kind of look back on that instance, and then I look about here, and it's just like, I could have been born in the whole wrong generation. But I don't know if that's the case, but it's just like, like, could you imagine being a kid at this time, being forced into that shit, and you intuitively know you don't want that needle, but you're kind of 33 years early to that reaction, and like, that, like that's kind of how it feels to me a little bit. That's how it feels. And the CDC tells ABC News it's monitoring the situation, but there are no unusual patterns of pneumonia nationwide. They do stress if you or your child uh -huh. is having difficulty breathing, like the mother in the piece, you should go to the hospital right away. That's right. Hi, everyone. Go George to the hospital. Officer. Go to the hospital right away. Do not stand around playing and shit and then hugging and all that fly stuff right there. You say, better look at the market. Say, these drug companies talking about how they losing money and need to raise profits mm. since C-19. Wow. You say, white kids are so weak. Laugh out loud. You say, they can't handle anything foreign to their body. Oh, my God. You may have a point, though. You, but what about the Native Americans in the blankets? Did, did we forget about the Native Americans in the blankets? Because they didn't do a good job of that. Like, can we, like you know, the, the white people were the ones who brought the blankets over. So I'm not sure if that's entirely, inherently accurate to history. But I will say immunizations, vaccinations, and shots did make it easier for us to be susceptible to just shit. Um... But now I don't know. But I'm just saying, like, at some point, the pilgrims bought blankets over and, like, it did, it, like, little assassinations. So I don't know if it's entirely true that they were, like, their immunization is weak, per se. I mean, these are the same motherfuckers who could digest milk and really nobody else can. Do you know how weird that is? That's a flex. Like, we'll get sick from milk after so many ages. They don't. They can drink that shit for all eternity. It's probably why they keep such, like, glossy skin. That's a superpower. We can't, we can't tolerate milk. They can. I don't know. They probably have some immunizations that they're not good with, but, like, I don't know. And also, there are black people in Ohio, ain't there? I'm extremely sure. So I don't think it's just all white people. We need to chill. <laughs> 
we need to stop with the language, because that's not helping anything. You know, we don't even know if it's ba well, like if all this shit's based off a of race or just like the genetic sequence of the fractals that are in us. And if that's the case, um, you're chosen out of random. You're you were picked out of random. That's it. Like all of this is so fucking random. It's so fucking random. It comes up with a pattern of randomness. That's how random it is. Like, me, but, yeah, like, just, whatever. Whatever. We don't, damn it, it's something about melanin or something like that that do us just different, right? You say, I said that about the deaths. He say, if the numbers are not high, they will allow it to happen with no actions. Facts. I read that earlier. That, mm -hmm. That's why I repeated what you had done said. Show enough is, show enough is. Oh, sorry. But listen. This is not mainstream because it's not, as you say, that important. It's not that serious. But you all keep your eyes on the prize. Keep on being around here. Keep trying to hear real news. We got the real news right here in the street at the Willie Williams Show. If you like what you just had to see, then press the thumbs up, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Y'all tell somebody about the player. I'm out. Okay, so let's watch something else I found, which I thought was interesting. More than two and a half million people viewed this post by conservative talk show host Charlie Kirk about a mystery pneumonia affecting kids called white lung syndrome. Verify received questions from our viewers about related headlines warning of this mysterious new illness. So, let's verify. Is there a new illness spreading in the U.S. called white lung syndrome? Our sources are the Warren County, Ohio Health District, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, mm -hmm. Dr. Shira Doron, Chief Infection Control hey, Officer pal. at Tufts Medicine, and Dr. Pyle Coley, oh, pal. An Assistant <laughs> Clinical Professor of Medicine at the University this, hey, of Colorado. Oh, my so Rowan told Verify white lung syndrome is not an official medical diagnosis, calling it a fake term. People are likely using it to describe the white shading that appears on chest x-rays of people with pneumonia. Coley explained the white areas seen on x-rays just indicate there's fluid in the lungs, a common sign of pneumonia, and not necessarily a new illness. Any kind of pneumonia is viral or bacterial can result in white lung. In his viral post, Kirk cited a pediatric pneumonia outbreak in Warren County, Ohio, near Cincinnati, as proof of the new disease. Okay. But health officials there say they don't believe the increase in cases is tied to a new respiratory virus, but rather... Say funny you say that. That it's to stay up to date with our vaccines and to follow. They took their masks off late later. Increase in viral infection, where um, you know because the Chinese took their masks off later than us, they are now seeing an increase in viral infections in children. A lot of people didn't didn't even know that China had been seeing an increase. So like. Is this an actual news station on television, or is this just an online news station, is now the question. But still, um, reports and shit, but who knows? Who knows? Maybe this isn't happening. A large uptick in the number of typical pediatric pneumonia cases. A rather large uptick, 145? In one... I would is not just a county, but I want to also assume a city, but maybe it's county and maybe I'm a, a but 145 <laughs> over a short period of time out of nowhere. Okay. So, no, there is not a new illness called white lung syndrome spreading in the U.S. Mm, okay. A spokesperson for the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention told Verify know. that on a national scale, it's seeing the typical number of cases and types of pneumonia for this time of year. With your Verify, I'm Brandon Lewis. No, cancel that. Uh, what did these comments say? Uh, one day ago. Um, Ohio's health department just confirmed several cases. I think there's three comments. So we're... But it's only showing two. Mm. I don't know, man. I don't know. 
I don't know. I just happened to find this one, too. Thank you, Phil. Uh, let's explore some more, because we might as well. Uh, one day ago. Oh, here's one. Doctor separates fact from fiction. Let's see what the facts is. Yeah, that's nice. Parent, over the past week or so, you've most likely run across either a news report or social media post on what's being called white lung syndrome. And if it's caused you any concern, you're not alone. Ago. It's also caused concern for Dr. Frank Me George, though for a different reason. He looks reason, like he needs a nap. He's live now to explain like he's why tired he of this wants shit. to call attention to it. Frank, the title, it sounds horrible. Mm -hmm. He kind of cute with that gray hair. It sure does, Kim and Devin. You know, I want to call attention to set the record straight that there the is, that is no mouth? such thing as white lung syndrome. It's a made-up term that got traction on social media and then picked up by some media reports to basically suggest that there was a new and potentially dangerous illness spreading. Let me be clear, that is not the case, and you do not need to be any more concerned than you would be during any other winter respiratory illness season. Here's the fact-checked skinny on white lung syndrome. What does nigga just say? X-ray, the lungs on both sides of the heart are dark because the air sacs have air in them, which looks dark on an X-ray. Okay. When the air sacs collapse or become fluid-filled, they look white on a chest X-ray. Pneumonia is one possible cause for the white appearance on a chest X-ray, uh -huh. but it doesn't say anything specific about the cause. And in the case of pneumonia, different degrees of infection can have different white appearances. Having a white area on an x-ray if a person has a fever with a cough is often pneumonia. And in the recent discussion of so-called white lung syndrome, that's what they're referring to. Mm -hmm. The white appearance of pneumonia. Now there have been reports loosely suggesting this white lung syndrome is either related to an increase in pneumonias being diagnosed in China, or a suggestion they could be connected to a reported increase in pediatric respiratory infections in Massachusetts mm -hmm. or one county in Ohio. The CDC says this does not appear to be the case. We do not believe this is a new or novel pathogen. We believe this is all existing, meaning COVID, flu, RSV, mycoplasma. Pneumonia mm -hmm. in children is serious, and white lung syndrome is just a scary sounding way of saying pneumonia. Now, with all the media hype behind us, I want to say it is important to take symptoms like a lasting productive cough, fevers, difficulty breathing, mm -hmm. wheezing, or even difficulty feeding in younger children from shortness of breath very seriously. In those cases, see a doctor. Back to you. And, Doc, I assume the treatment might be different depending on the cause of the pneumonia, right? Yeah, that's absolutely true. In fact, that's something that's very individualized to every case. Now, if the cause is vi- Why would it be individualistic if it's the same fucking shit? Yeah, I mean, people react to it differently because they're individuals, but if it's the same thing, it should be the same cause. Like, I mean, we didn't have this issue with, like, the plague, because we all knew- what the cause would be. Either you touched it, you breathed someone's fucking mouth air, you know, shit like that. Like, I, that's a weird way of saying, hey, it's all based on the individual. Yeah, this isn't judgment. Sure, whatever. Well, then <laughs> antibiotics are not going to be helpful. But depending on other circumstances, we might choose one antibiotic over another. For example, if we think it's mycoplasma, we would use a specific class of antibiotics rather than amoxicillin, for example. Yeah, Back yeah, to you. Yeah. All right, thanks. But... Okay, what did the comments say in this one? I hope whoever reads this enters the, year near, the new year sober drug free. I pray for your recovery if you are struggling. The surge is because of COVID, Periola variant, BA 2.86? They come in in percentages now? God, I, I'm not good with fractions. I don't want to divide shit. I don't know how to make it simple. Like, why we got to do math and shit? That just, that just burnt my ass hairs. Mm. 
That just got on my fucking nerves. Let me go get some coffee. Hold on. Okay, so let's look at this other article. It's weird that this has been out for 14 hours. There's a 891 views, but not a lot of people are making comments on this. Am I the only one who thinks this is kind of weird? This is the second video that's on this shit. There's not even likes or dislikes on this? What? And there's only three comments. There's 891 views in 14 hours, but only three comments? No likes or dislikes? I mean, I could look at the analytics and probably see how many dislikes there are. I don't feel like doing that. Um, and I don't feel like showing people how to do that either. Because <laughs> that's just weird. Why would you want to look at this? Well, I want to look at dislikes on this in particular, but it's just a weird thing to do in general, I think. But it's like... Only three comments? Very weird. Uh, that's uh, this. Let's look at, uh, this came out one day ago. Chinese, China's mystery pneumonia surge. There's a lot of people, there's a lot of miscommunication. Why is this globally? English news. N17V. Wow, there's an N7! It added up three points and we're doing fractions and we're adding and then, ah, uh, that's annoying. This is four days ago. This is 3D. White lung travel ban. Oh, there's a travel ban? First case. This was four, four days ago as well. Um, nail sun disease. What? I thought lines in your fingers meant like damage. Why is why wouldn't you why is that green? I kinda wanna look at that. You know what? I'ma look at that. This is five days ago. This is four days ago. This is ten years ago. Maybe we should look at that. Maybe we should look at an explanation of it, but that looks absolutely disgusting. Um and grows trying to get whammy by typical viruses. Ooh. Before ago, there's no new virus. Oh, this was 13 days ago. Al Jazeera. Of course, of course. The Middle Eastern Asians are going to be talking about China. They would be. They're Asian as well. Why wouldn't they? They're invested in that shit. They're like the closest. You can also chew or drink thyme to clear out mucus too and help your digestion and your gastric problems for anyone who wanted to know. I am such a little herbalist. I do. I, I, I did good. Kyrie could be proud of me. White lung syndrome is not a novel illness. Okay. Let's look at... Everyone be talking about this. I don't know if half of these news stations are real or not either. That's the thing. Thank you. Fun. It's like, okay, you were a news station. You got anchors. But, like, are you actually shown on television? Or is, are you just online media doing the exact same thing the fourth and third states of journalism do? You know, because the internet is the fifth fucking state. It's literally how we journalize and shit while avoiding being social. Get on your book. Get on your book, get on your notebook. There you go, there you go, there you go, 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 go. You know, that's the issue I'm finding with the. Um, this one. It's almost there, I think. You know, that's the, issue, the biggest issue with the internet that I'm learning right now, honestly. It's, uh, it's like a. Uh, everybody's getting their news from the internet, which there's nothing wrong with, right? You can do that. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. But, um, who are these people giving you this information? And why do you think these journalists are as reliable, or more reliable, um, than the ones we see on TV? Because as far as I'm concerned, they're all fucking liars, you know? Yeah, think about it. Why, why, are you, why are we trusting these newscasters just because they're on the internet? Oh, because they're not big media? Mm, okay. Okay. 
That, that's the only quantification we have for this. They're not big wigs uh, or getting paid by the man or some shit. So it's trustworthy. It, even though, like, it, it's very clear that there are ops everywhere. And these people who are on the internet uh, fighting with each other about what this is and what this not is. It, it is just like, does it really matter if there's a, a, there's a, there's a thing going around? Two sides of the same fucking argument. Left wing, right wing, they're still the same fucking bird. It's like, why are we arguing whether or not this is, a, if it's new or not, if it's here? Thank you, phone. <laughs> Won't be giving me shit today. Hmm, talk to me in days, man. But it's just like, what the fuck is this? And it's, I, and like, for me, it's amazing because it's like, it, like, I just decided, you know, I'm not going to do this shit, like, I was, and I'm just gonna talk about what I fucking see and notice, and now it's like, ah. Oh. This is someone wanted me to shut up about. I'm looking at this like, ah. Uh. Let's look at Al Jazeera. What, what, what propaganda are they putting up? Because I know what, what time they're on, always. They're always on a certain time. So is Wuhan. This is four days ago. Like, actually, yeah. Well, now I don't want to, like, get in trouble with them. Because, like, they, they do good shit. But still. Did I pass the Al Jazeera? I must have. Yeah, I did. Okay, here it is. This is only a minute 40. Which, you say, hello. This is 13 days ago. The Wu, who, the World Health Health, the World Health Organization, is asking China to provide information on an unexplained outbreak of respiratory illnesses and pneumonia. Particularly in children, hospitals with multiple cities are reportedly overwhelmed. This was 14 days ago. Oh, look! And... What is it? They have a... Uh, 618... Okay, that... See, this seems a little bit more realistic, but who knows who these people are. Oh, these people already make me feel like it's sketch as fuck. I'm a teacher here. I noticed this and even told myself this week. A lot of students are getting sick this week. Fortunately, many of them have recovered, but the batch of kids who didn't get sick last week are now getting sick. It's quite odd, but it doesn't seem too bad. It just seems more like an infectious cold. <clears throat> I remember when I was a child in Germany, we children got pneumonia during the cold winter season. Half the students in my schools were sick. Everyone was fine after one to two weeks. Definitely something going on through the city I'm in here. I tested negative for flu and COVID. Had no fever. Was likely a really crappy cold. Mm. Even before COVID-19, it was customary for northern Chinese cities with their cold, muggy, and dry air, like Beijing, to have respiratory illnesses peak in winter. After three years of stringent plague control measures, most people here are simply getting sick, are being told to wear a mask, or to avoid social gatherings, and the government can't afford to reinstate similar control measures in the face of the already slumpy economy. Well, that, and, and like, if you weren't paying attention to how they were making sure... Uh, people followed uh, the regulations during the height of the quarantines and shit. You might want to try to uh, look into that. But if you miss that shit, it might be too late. That might already be removed. Because, like, they were they were pinning motherfuckers down and, and forcing swabs up noses. And I'm not... That's not an exaggeration. That's literally what I saw happening in the folk over there. Their people have become indignant. And they also know that their government will, uh... It, it, it create situations where, you know, well, the means justify the ends, or the ends justify the means, I guess, kind of thing, which is honestly some of the scariest shit you think of. You know, we as Americans, I'll say are very quick to judge our government. You know, and, and, and rightfully so, because our government has done horrible things. 
We all are known and aware of this, right? <clears throat> but we seem to forget the history and the makeup of everyone else around us. Like, it wasn't that long ago where a bitch went to jail for having for being loud in public. I think in Dubai. We're allowed, we, like, we can get arrested for disturbances, but we ain't spend months in jail over being loud as a woman. You ever, you ever look up the Pegasus scandal in, with Saudi Arabia and uh, Mexico? You should probably look into that. You know, Snowden might have talked a whole bunch of craziness and shit and whatever. And yes, it was crazy with the United with our own, well, my own government. I don't know about all y'all being here, but my own government did. But, um, whose ends justify what means at this point? Let's look some more. The kind of illnesses that we're seeing are influenza, mycoplasma pneumonia, which is a type of bacterial infection, RSV, a respiratory virus, and COVID-19. The WHO has requested from China more information about these clusters and also called on China's health system to reinforce its capacity and responsiveness. Now, we haven't seen any exact figures uh, in terms of cases, here in China, but anecdotally, we are definitely seeing a surge, at least here in Beijing. If you go to any hospital, especially children's wards, they're full of people. Schools are also uh, reporting high levels of absenteeism, uh, telling parents to be extra cautious if uh -huh. they don't have any symptoms, even some classes. Uh, if they see a certain number of children sick, they're saying that the whole class should stay at home for at least a week. And I've spoken also to doctors here who have told me that since about October... Look at that little one right there. Ain't she adorable? And they've no. Warning not only children but those who are vulnerable but pregnant. Poor thing. She's so cute and she doesn't know how she's doomed to a life of misery and destruction in order to live. <coughs> you know. Uh, cute kid. Cute kid. But as we see in the comments. It's all fuss about uh, large scale influenza outbreaks occur every year. Well. well When was the last time anyone got a flu shot? Has anyone needed a flu shot? That's an even better question. In fact, does anyone know the history of the flu? Other than me, I wonder. And where it actually came from. The trenches, if you will. Mm -hmm. Most people don't know um, where it came from. And when I say most, I mean nobody. Nobody knows, thank you for, no one knows where influenza came from except the, possibly the trenches. Hmm. Let's see. What do you say? Oh, I, 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 it's some are just showing up. Let's appreciate the fact that it's called pneumonia again. For the past three years, I thought it had been permanently renamed something else. After pneumonia had just been discovered by science at the beginning of 2020, sending the whole world into a panic. Fact. Uh, not again, someone says. It's weird. There's so many comments, but they're not here. Isn't it weird how there's obviously way more comments, but they're not here? And that's my point. It's just like, am I really supposed to be worried about this? Is this actually real, or is this a whole other distraction like it was last time? Because now a whole bunch of people are going to be, be in a panic. Whether you get this or you don't. It's conspiracy. It's the laws of nature. It's, it's just nothing more but a divide. It's just like, who gives a fuck? Oh, there, oh it's in the Netherlands, too. Oh, that's an hour. They went off for it. This bitch went off for an hour. Oh, it's that one, too. She always has a problem. This, I swear, she has a problem with China. I don't know what her <laughs> But she always be ready to jump on that shit, being like, I, I, let's talk, let us talk shit about China. Fucking idiot. Like, I don't know. I, I, and to me, I, I love when, like, people who are Indian start cursing people out. Because, like, it's funny to me. I know I should seriously take them seriously as they're saying, like, fucking guy or something or calling me an idiot or an asshole or some shit. But when they say it in English, it don't sound serious enough to me. Now, if they were Samoan, I'm running. 
I'm running. I don't want no, no Simone's will fuck you up. And they'll, and they'll be like, I apologize for breaking your arm, but it must be done. They're on that time, and I'm not on that time. So, I will never fuck with this mode. But this bitch always got an issue with China. Let me look at this real quick. Because she always on, this one's always on this time. The move is aimed at boosting post-pandemic tourism. But with concerns over undiagnosed pneumonia outbreak, is Beijing once again looking the other way and endangering the global population? That's the question. You see what I mean with the propaganda? Like she did, and she does. She is obviously not a fan of this continent. She's not a fan of these people that are on this continent. I'm, I'm saying that right now, obviously. But um. This one here is like, uh, it's the propaganda, it's just like, they're putting everybody at risk because they won't let anyone know they're fucking sick. Everyone's at work doing their job, but China won't go the fuck home and take care of themselves so the rest of us don't get sick. That's what they're trying to say. That's what they're saying. It, it, like, and like, like, uh, so many views, 39 stacks, 39,362 39, views, but there's only 92 comments. 278 legs, like... Interesting, there's nothing in the news here in the Netherlands regarding the outbreak or some cases. We have regular flu here, but it is a season for it, so it has something that happens yearly. Why are we repeating our mistakes? Concerns over undiagnosed pneumonia outbreak in China. Video discusses respiratory illness outbreak. Let's see. Help. Rising cases of prolonged illness and pneumonia in children in China and the Netherlands. Not just in Ohio, but the Netherlands. Uh, health experts discuss the new health scare from China and the need for caution. The Indian government is reviewing preparedness for a potential flu and respiratory illness outbreak following a surge in the cases of northern China. The video discusses the importance of getting the flu, influ the influenza vaccine to prevent catching the common cold, especially for vulnerable groups like the elderly and young children. This video discusses the rise of the mysterious respiratory illness in China with global implications, because it's not like we haven't done this before. Um, it's important to have regular surveillance, surveillance for viral strains, isolate oneself when sick, and practice social distancing. Six feet coming back! Yes, don't breathe on me. Do not breathe on me. With your mouth air shit. That's what, that's what's happening. No one wants to, um... If it comes up to where people need to get, like, antidotes for this shit or, or whatever, I don't think it's going to work that way again. People are not about to, just, like, lose their money just for the sake of being healthy. Uh, there's no point in being healthy if you ain't got nowhere to sleep at night, you know, or able to pay for food or any of that shit. The importance of have, right, I saw that. Various states in India are taking precautions and preparing for the prevention and treatment of respiratory illnesses, especially in border districts with China. The video discusses the potential outbreak of a new virus and the risk it poses to human health. China is experiencing a surge in respiratory illnesses with concerns of a new undiagnosed virus causing pneumonia. The Indian government is reviewing preparedness measures as several states are on alert due to a spike in pneumonia cases similar to early reports of the plague outbreak in Wuhan. The world may not be fully prepared for another health crisis despite some improvement since the plague pandemic. Recap using Tammy AI. God, why can't you... Really? Really, Mia Frank? Why would you use... Why couldn't you do that yourself? Sure, it's convenient, but goddamn, like, you haven't, mm, see, you can't trust comments anymore now. They're just coming out letting you know that they're bots and shit. It's ridiculous. 
Either they're bots, they're NPCs, or or, or just straight aggro and like they're like. Does Netherlands supply majority of world's nuclear-grade oil products? Because nuclear facilities use only a certain type of oil, which is conductive to firewall operations. Most of the viral outbreaks for the past hundred years have come from the same place. Mm. Ooh. So are we saying China's an Indian burial ground and everyone's partying on it? Is that what we're saying? No false GK, please. That's because it's man-made. Further going back, you also got the Black Death as well. Don't you be the Black Plague? I differ with you in opinions for those things, though. Spanish first was thought to start in America in 2009. Swine flu started in Mexico. That's what I... Okay, that's what I was thinking. I was like... Well, where... Was bird flu Mexico, too? Or was that somewhere else? Because I know the avian flu was another thing as well. We've had a lot of flus for some, for, for some shit, you know? This is... Oh, yeah, my dad watched this movie before. It was interesting. The first report was pathogen disease. Now they are denying it's a dangerous virus. Oh, yeah. Fun fact to add in, did you know that viruses and crystals are made from the same strain of DNA? Yeah, same sequence and everything. They're literally the same fucking thing. It's like lead and gold. Um, same shit, different forms. What? I know I'm broke. Man, why am I gonna go fix that shit? I told you I'd do that tomorrow. I guess I can't blame you for being in a hurry. You need your water tank fixed. I gotta go fix someone's water heater tank. Or whatever the fuck it's called. Um, it's fucked up again. And it's just like, why don't you just call a mechanic? Because I don't have to pay you as much. So maybe I should charge you? No, not like that. Okay, then. Wait on my time. I'll get to it when I get to it. But it's like, I can't make a wait. It, it, like it's only been a day but still it's like mm, I don't want like and plus I'm not trying to invite them to use my shower I don't know where they've been Europe and West experiencing increasing flus and it is winter why are all hospitals are was overwhelmed why all hospitals was overwhelmed if it is not a virus well the hospitals are overwhelmed with all sorts of different shit and this doesn't help that that they, they're already overwhelmed and overcrowded like they, like did you not see the reports where they're walking people out of hospitals and leaving them to suffer and die. AI is worse than climate change. I don't know, but they said my hospital was full when it was empty, so I don't believe anything on the internet. Right! And that's my point here. That's absolutely my point. My, my point. My point. It's just like, am I supposed to believe this is real, or is it supposed to like send people into an issue? And like, I totally believe this is going to spread into something completely crazy all over again. Yeah. But is this really something new that's breaking out? Or is this more along the lines of placebo effect in what they've been giving us? You know, like everyone's told, like, get their vaccines and shit, right? But what if they're just water? You know what I mean? Like, what if, it, if this isn't something that's been here this entire time? It's just the simple fact that they've been giving us, like, fake shit. And it's not that this, we are protected from it. It's that... We've never had protection, and now the course of uh, now we're all par for the course and catching up with how things are actually supposed to go. Um, that vulnerability shit, right? I don't know what made people think that they could stay comfortable. Like every like you know how many people I hear talking about how they're sick of being in survival mode, and it's just like, why are you here? The whole point of being alive is to fucking suffer. Like if you, like I've never heard a deer say, "All I want to do is eat grass in peace." The only way to be able to eat grass in peace is if they're in a, in a fence, in a cage, in a zoo. Never knowing their true selves, living outside of the wilds, isolated from who the fuck they really is. But you know, it's like. 
Whatever. Vitamin A deficiency in China is very common in children in Asia. Start getting your kids vitamin a boost, immune response. Don't start panicking. Vitamin A deficiency is off. Also, previous vaccines induce immune immune response. Don't fall headlight. Someone's gonna understand what the fuck they just said. I didn't. Um. Mm. Here in the Netherlands, nothing on the news. No outbreak. Let me guess. This not, virus is natural, like all the other ones. Definitely man-made. But like, but it's just like my thing is is like how do like like we could all keep saying that these were man-made. Sure. But how do we know that all this shit's been working and they just stop putting in the shit that works now? Yeah, that's my thing. It's just like, are, are, are we literally looking at, like, the problem here? No idea has died, but I'm not sure. Only channel concerned about people. Da, 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 da. I don't know. You all can check this out. I might check it out, but I don't know. I don't know. It's just, it, to me, it's just like, nah. Mind you, the date today is December 6th, 2023. I'm going to put this out in a week. This is going up in a week. This is when you'll see this. Uh, those who do not learn from history are doomed to repeat it. Oh, I was about to say, that better not be out of... Okay. That's so awful. You know what I mean? It's just... <laughs> What's everybody doing? The same damn thing we did the last time instead of asking proper questions. Is this, is this really something new or man-made? Or is it just they stop making the shit work to prevent stuff like this from happening? Maybe ask that question. Might save us some fucking time. I'd say it was time. Alright, I'm out.